It's reported at least 44 trans people were murdered in 2020 alone. And despite your fears, you say you feel a deep responsibility to share your truth. Why? Well, you know, so much of the privilege I have, the ability to uh, be here, sitting here right now, is really because of so many trans women of color who have consistently put their lives on the line throughout history, you know, when we think of Marsha P. Johnson or Miss Major. Uh -huh. I'm grateful to have the access to the resources I've, I've had because I don't know what would have happened if, if I didn't. And so many people in this community, like I said, don't have access to health care already. And then you have now mm -hmm. in states them trying to ban gender affirming health care for transgender youth. And I guess I don't know how to really say it other than it just feels more important than feeling scared in moments. It feels more important than if I have an overwhelming day it to me s s really simply feels like absolutely the right thing to do. Who or what force helped you to move through the fear? Who did you lean on or what did you lean on to help you move through the fear? I'm surrounded by really incredible people who I work with and just fully support me. Friends who, mm -hmm you know, fully support me and are there for me. And, um, and again, being inspired by so many people who have a lot more courage than I do. And mm -hmm. that, you know, that love and support and encouragement. Was your mom, was your mom a big source of support? Yeah, I mean, I, I think as I talked in the Time article, uh, obviously, in my childhood, things were, you know, a bit different, but my mom can't be, you know, couldn't be more supportive and such an advocate for the LGBTQ plus community. So thrilled for me and that I'm in this place in my life.